Begun in a fit of rage, the Battle of Yiling led Liu Bei to a new spiritual state of mind. He realized that Sun Quan's vision of peace mirrored his own and decided to merely annex Wu rather than annihilate them. With the goal of peace so tantalizingly close, only Cao Cao remained. Intent on fighting it out with Cao Cao, Liu Bei advanced his forces to the Wuzhang Plains in northern Hanzhong. In response, Cao Cao, seeking to defeat Liu Bei, led his elite troops to attack the Shu forces. The two great generals challenged one another in one last battle for control of the new age. Cao Cao would provide a path, introduce strong principles and nurture everyone's talents and abilities. It's a vision that could please the people. Ha! Huh. He's nothing but hot air. Even without the guy's leadership, the people can learn to grow without anyone's help. Right. That is correct. By working together, they can teach themselves the proper path. And yet, it assumes that they know what to do. But nothing is certain. But giving them hope and guidance is Brother Bay's task. That's why we're here, isn't it? To help him? I fear we have no choice but a battle. Cao Cao. Neither of us will bend, so one must break. Friends, let this be the final battle that our poor land must face. We must grasp victory. Through our strength, the battle will be won! <laughs> This will be the final battle. My friends, lend me your aid. We must not pursue them too far. Let us watch and see what they will do. Wei Yang, you must not go off alone.
hands of our Prime Minister. Let our arrows pierce way in all who follow it! Split up the men! We'll hit the enemy archers from both sides! Just as I planned. Wei Yan, it is time. You and our reinforcements must take the enemy camp.
way of virtue shall fail. Start the advance. We shall face the enemy with all our strength behind us. corner.
virtue shall fail. Friends, thank you. It has been a long and difficult road, but the chaos has fled. Now let us walk in a new and peaceful age. This victory is thanks to everybody's efforts. these freshly steamed buns. Oh, I must try it. Hmm. Master, you've added something new. Bamboo sprouts? Just put them in. Came out well. I think it really adds something to the taste. Your Highness. You're not supposed to be going off by yourself. Please. Forgive me, Xiao Yun. Funny. But I find that this old marketplace is a lot more comfortable than the Imperial Throne will ever be. I can tell. The calm and peace on the faces of these people is the vision of the land my lord worked so hard to create. Did you call us lord? Uh, Your Imperial Highness! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. Ah. The sun feels so good out here today.